This is Witchbase News for Friday the 4th of June 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...Frontier acts on map feedback ...feedback is requested for the outfitting UI ...Odyssey gets its second major patch ...Operation Ida suspends station repairs ...there's a crucial engineering unlock bug ...and the roadmap is incoming. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe ...click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications ...and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon ...links to everything you need are in the description below. One of the biggest complaints that was made when the Odyssey expansion arrived was the map and navigation changes that the addition of legs had brought to the game. A complete revamp of the in-ship navigation systems had seen the layout changed, vital information removed or obscured and additional steps added to what was already one of Elite's more complex UIs. As the Odyssey launch drama continued to rumble on into its second week ...Frontier asked for focused feedback on the map and navigation UI and yesterday patch 2 to the much anticipated Elite Feet expansion arrived that addressed ...among its many changes and fixes ...at least some of the feedback on the UI. If you'd been struggling with what was an unwieldy and overly chunky map system and had held back playing Odyssey as a result then I'd suggest it's worth revisiting that. We had a quick look around it last night and were generally impressed with the changes that had been made. Off the back of the first round of focused feedback Frontier has now asked for more UI feedback ...this time centred on the loadout and outfitting UI. Without a shadow of a doubt and far and away the most pressing issue with the loadout UI has to be the ease with which engineered modules can be accidentally sold and lost to the four winds. We've heard multiple horror stories of heavily engineered modules being accidentally sold because of a ridiculous and very hard to spot default slider switch being in place. So worryingly easy to use is the ACCIDENTALLY PLEASE SELL MY HARD EARNED STUFF setting that we'd highly recommend you do not use Odyssey at all for outfitting your ship and either stick to Horizons to handle that stuff or just hold off outfitting your ship in Odyssey until it's fixed. As I mentioned above patch 2 arrived in the game on Thursday morning and whilst the list of changes and fixes is far too lengthy and extensive to list in its entirety I'm pleased to be able to report that the game is starting to look a lot more like its old new self. In the patch notes linked below you can expect to find changes to AI behaviour and animation audio fixes, new control bindings for using medkits and energy cells etc yay, fixes to cosmetics, crash and stability fixes, neutron jumps are now back, significant and I do mean significant changes to the lighting and visual effects, fixes to missions, organics and rock scattering and some significant optimizations and fixes to geometry culling and the list goes on and on and on. If you've been struggling with Odyssey it might be worth a look again ...it's definitely not 100% there yet ...not by a long shot ...but it's in a much better state now. Engineering guru an all round lovely bloke and hugely entertaining streamer Captain James Flint has drawn our attention to a bug that is still present as of my typing these words. If you're looking to unlock access to the new engineer Hero Ferrari ...I can't say that name without also going Hero Ferrari in my head by the way ...and you'll know that you need to complete 10 surface conflict zones in order to do that. Right now only completing level 1 surface combat zones will work so don't cane yourself silly in the higher level ones ...it won't count. Just rattle through the low ones and you're good to go. We happen to know that Frontier are aware so it's not unreasonable to expect a fix in hopefully fairly short order. It is I Hero Ferrari. While we're on the subject of known bugs Grey C at Operation Ida has sent word that the station restore and repair specialists extraordinaire have suspended their operations currently as none of their recurrent repair efforts are being registered by the game. 
Repairing a station takes a colossal community effort and so they're advising anyone else to hold off shipping materials to damaged stations until the issue is resolved. Again Frontier are now aware of the problem. As soon as it's confirmed fixed you can expect Ida to swing quickly into action again. They're very good at that stuff. One final point. The roadmap that was promised in a community address from David Braben last week is due today. There's understandably been a huge upswelling of disquiet, disappointment, frustration and quite honestly anger in the community around the condition that Odyssey was launched in. Whilst Elite Dangerous Odyssey is undoubtedly in a better state now than it was two and a half weeks ago at launch there is still a long way to go. Frontier have sadly lost a lot of the hard fought trust that was invested in them by their devoted customer base. The roadmap, whatever it plans to communicate is absolutely crucial for Frontier to get right at this point in Odyssey's life cycle and in the company's relationship with its customers. However this is a company that is well known among its fanbase for its struggles to communicate effectively when dealing with something like Elite. As soon as we know what that roadmap brings we'll be back with another video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on all notifications to ensure you don't miss that. So how has your Odyssey experience been since Thursdays patch? Have you noticed improvements? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later with another video. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.